Bonjour, guys. Je m'appelle Jeff. They pressure luck. And I, of course, had to Google Translate that to make sure I said it properly. So I'm back in the States and I'm happy to be home, but I have to confess I miss beautiful London and Paris. So I said, I'm going to bring a little bit of Paris to thee. When I was there, I had this mashed potato dish that's not only a level one, but it's, forget, it's not level un or level deux or level trois. It's even higher than that. It's a mashed potatoes that is so full of cheese that when you eat it and bring it to your mouth, the cheese cascades right back into the bowl, kind of like when you're having a French onion soup. The French call this one Aligo, and it looks like Aligots on paper, but I learned the hard way, of course, it's pronounced Aligo. And um, without further ado, guys, you're just going to see for yourself, this one's going to change your life in the way you eat mashed potatoes. Without further ado, let's Aligo. So let's start with two and a quarter pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. Peeled and quartered into chunks just like so. Now to our pot, we're going to add one cup of water with the trivet inside of it and layer the potatoes right on top of the trivet. And there we go. And now let's put the lid on top. Make sure it's in sealing position. And I'm gonna hit manual and we're gonna go for eight minutes on high pressure. All right, now while those potatoes are cooking in the Instant Pot, we wanna get down to what's really important here, guys. The Gruyere cheese, which is a key ingredient in an aligo, you're gonna see. So what we wanna do is use one pound, which is about 16 ounces worth in weight, which is I have two eight ounce packages here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, use a cheese grater and grate it. Nice and grated just like that. And I gotta tell you folks, that magic snap trick with cutting and preparing things comes in super handy when it comes down to grating cheese because, well, you know, cheese grating, who likes doing that? Uh, just find a potion online, drink it, and when you do that, it'll cut things instantly. You can find it on Amazon. And to our lovely shredded Gruyere cheese, I'm also going to add a half a pound of, yes, more cheese, which is of the mozzarella variety. You're gonna put a half a pound of that in there as well. I told you this is a really cheesy dish. Now that that's all finished, we're going to do a quick release. And this is two minutes afterwards, our pin is dropped, so we're gonna take the lid off, and fantastic. What we're gonna do now is dump the water and we're going to remove the trivet. Now that I've removed the trivet and drained the water from the pot, I'm going to mash these potatoes in the pot and they will mash nice and easily. Wow, look at how easy. And we really wanna mash them so it's kind of almost like a nice and smooth consistency. We'll get there, but just make sure it's really good. Get most of the big lumps out. All right, and once we're looking like this, nice and smooth consistency for the most part, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna hit cancel, we're gonna go to saute, we're going to adjust it so it's on the less setting. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add one stick, yes, one whole stick, told you this wasn't very healthy, of unsalted butter. And make sure it's at room temperature as well. We want a nice and soft, so when it mixes in, it mixes in easily. And now that we've mixed that up a little bit, we're gonna add another healthy ingredient to this dish. We're talking some not light, not half and half, but some heavy cream, one full cup of it, guys. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that in nice and good so it blends in one cup of heavy cream. And then take a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon's gonna come in really handy with this, trust me on this, um, and to stir everything up so it's nice and good and mix incorporated. And then we're going to add our cheese. And as we stir it up, you'll see how nice and creamy and smooth and nice and rich this is getting before we even put our cheese in. Don't worry if you see some chunks of potatoes in there still, it's fine, it'll make the consistency nice. And uh, that's actually why we like to use Yukon Gold potatoes for this, because it makes it nice and fluffy. It's a nice and fluffy potato. So now, let's start adding our cheese in some batches and stirring it in. Get that in there. We want all this cheese to get incorporated with this potato mixture. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to begin to stretch. And when you, that happens, then you have a true alley go. So let's just keep going and keep adding some more cheese. Now here we go, guys. Look at this. It's beginning to get all stretchy, which is exactly what we want to do. So just keep stirring until all of the cheese is basically invisible and melted into the potatoes. And just keep stirring. We don't want it to burn. Seasoning it with a little bit of black pepper that I've already put in there and a few pinches of kosher salt that I'm also going to add and then mix all that and fold it into our delicious aligo. And you're going to see, again, how crazy this is in terms of like stretch consistency, which is exactly how an aligo should be. Look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen a creamier, cheesier mashed potato in your life? This is basically like the taffy of the mashed potatoes. Look at how insane it is. And you act the best part is it actually doesn't even stick that badly to the pot. As you can see, it kind of just pulls right away from it. But what we want to do is we want to just make sure we're stirring it nice and good for a few minutes uh, so it gets nice and heated throughout. And you can add more salt and pepper to your liking. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just do it to taste. And after a few minutes of stirring and it's all heated through and it looks like this, we are all done, guys. 
Whoa, I told you. And now I'm going to hit the keep warm cancel button and make sure we want to make sure the Alago is uh, always on a warm setting. Leave it in here. Uh, don't transfer it to a bowl to serve in because we want it to always kind of keep warm to keep that cheesy consistency going on in there with a nice temperature. So now we're going to serve it. Now watch how easily this serves into a uh, bowl just like this. And I'm just going to let it slide right in just like that. <laughs> and here we go. Let's try our Alago. Okay, guys, just look at this for a second, won't you? <laughs> oh my lord. Let's uh, let's try this and see how it goes. God, I love the French. This dish is going to complement any meat dish, any fish, or just eat it on its own. It's actually kind of like almost a marvel at how it does this. It's potatoes that are just basically overcome by cheese. The flavor is beyond comprehension, actually, and so is the consistency. <laughs> All I have to say is they don't call it Alago for nothing because you gotta go and make this right away. For more recipes like this, guys, where you see videos that are very easy to follow, very simple for the most part recipes, and really won't break the bank, um, go to Pressure Luck Cooking at Facebook.com, Facebook.com backslash Pressure Luck Cooking. I took some of France home with me, and I'm never letting it go. Um, just one more little dish before the diet starts again, right?